Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So uh, I hope that uh, many of the students would have started your preparation for GATE 2023. Okay, this uh, particular video is going to be very useful. Okay, either GATE 2023 or GATE 2024. Okay, this video is going to be very useful for those aspirants who started their preparation or even they, they would have started before, but uh, they are planning for 2023, 2024 or further get okay, any, any, any year which they are going to plan. Okay. Now, uh, what is that which I wanted to address? See, the first uh, issue uh, or I, I won't say that it's the first issue, an important issue which many students faces is they will learn a concept. Okay, they will learn a concept either through videos or through uh, classroom courses or uh, through standard books whatever they will learn okay they will learn a concept and they will solve some problems but when they try to apply that concept in different varieties of problems they will get stuck sometimes they won't able to start the problem also sometimes they will stuck in between Sometimes they will solve, but they would have used some different approach, which is not correct. Okay. So the question is, uh, sir, how can I uh, improve this? Uh, because I know the concept, I know the formula, I know the formula for this particular question. But how can I approach the problem? How to uh, get the correct result? That is how to basically, how can I walk through this particular problem? How can I do that? How can I improve this? That question will be there with many of the students and that is one of the big problem which many aspirants uh, faced in their uh, previous attempts GATE 2022 or GATE 2021 or GATE 2020 whatever okay so if you want to correct that mistake okay if that is your mistake okay in the last video when I posted about a GATE 2022 failure I discussed about I said about number of mistakes right in that one of the mistake is problem solving ability okay or uh, or i could say that problem solving skill how to develop that problem solving skill okay there are two ways in which you can develop okay one externally two internally i will explain to you don't worry first let me talk about uh, internally after that i will talk about externally okay because internally is very important we know that right motivation if you take motivation internal motivation is very important than external of course external motivation will help you to gain the internal motivation that is true but internal motivation is also important similarly there are two ways in which you can develop this skill externally and internally first let me talk about internally then i will come for externally okay so what is this internally developing problem solving skill simple just think i have given you one problem okay behind this that problem that is there is a paper in one page that is in one side question was there in the other side solution was there okay solution is there i am asking you to solve that question okay i'm asking you to solve that question how many of you guys okay how many of you that maybe you you would have been in this situation already okay how many of you guys will try to solve that problem patiently without looking into the solution if you are one of the student okay who is trying to solve the question without looking into the solution at all okay without looking into the solution at all if you are trying to solve the question then you will automatically develop your internal problem that is your problem solving skill this is what internally what i meant here the first step to develop your problem solving skill is to is uh, to struggle to struggle with that problem read that question once twice thrice and struggle to understand that question properly struggle to uh, make sure what they are asking and which unit they are asking what should be the con a concept i need to apply what should be the formula i need to apply think stay with the question think properly that is the only thing which you can which will lead you to which will lead uh, in developing your problem solving skill it will never you can never gain problem solving skill just by looking the question 
turning looking the solution question turning looking the solution never you will never learn you will never develop that problem solving skill okay you might feel that uh, i hope that many of the students who are watching this video would have done it question solution question solution would have done it they will read the question if they are not able to solve in their in some or 2 minutes or 3 minutes they will give up they will go to the solution they will read the question they will try for some 5 minutes also they will give up and they will go to the solution few they will read the question directly they will jump into the solution all these things are mistake all these things are mistakes you have to read the question sit with the question understand what they are asking okay then you try to solve it you will get some answer maybe correct answer or maybe wrong answer you will try it you will struggle after struggling you will get some answer after that look into the solution compare it if your answer is correct well and good if it is wrong find out where you did wrong what is your mistake read the question again okay why why i followed this step uh by by reading that question which data has misleaded me okay they would have given some data us by going through the data you would have followed some approach you would have got some answer but that answer was wrong that approach was wrong so which data in the question has misleaded you okay uh, mis uh misleaded you to follow this approach and to get this uh, to get this wrong answer do that analysis that time itself take some time spend some time see if i am not asking you to do this for all the question if the question is very simple straightforward theoretical you don't need to do this analysis but if the question seems to be very good if it is uh, a very good question then uh, you guys know that if you want start practicing it you will you will get to know that okay. if it's a very good question then you can spend uh, spend a uh, good amount of time on that question because by spending good amount of time on that one question it's not only going to help you in that question it's going to help you number of other questions and also this is something which which will automatically which will automatically improve your problem solving skill by learning by learning something in one question you will able to apply it in other question that uh, is something which you cannot get uh, in a straight forward way just by seeing question and solution just by seeing question and solution you will never get it almost all the test series question banks what not uh, previous year question books whatever you buy everything will have question and detailed solution i am i am accepting it but please don't see the solution directly you would have learned a concept maybe for example let us take our students uh, you are going through some concept some 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 of our video lectures let us consider you are attending our video lectures then you are trying to solve the problems related to that okay for example fluid properties okay just an example and you are trying to solve variety of questions from fluid properties you try to approach it in such a way that what we what we discussed in the video you try to approach what we discussed in the uh, you try to use the approach what we discussed in the video when you are solving the question directly jumping into the solution by reading the question jumping into the solution the solution might be somewhat different they would have used some other different approach you might end up with some confusion or you will get a you will get a solution you will get the answer but you won't learn anything okay so seeing the question and seeing the solution is different okay going through the question going through the solution is different what you are understanding what you are going to take from that question what are all the uh, what i could say uh, outcomes what are all the observations concluding uh, concluding points those are the important uh, important things to be focused on you have to keep your focus on that but many students will used to focus on question and solution question solution question solution question solution answer okay if you keep on if you keep on doing that then you won't to then you won't able to develop the problem solving skill okay the same thing applicable for any question you take it's not necessarily it is only with the previous year question or only with some book back questions or uh, a uh, question bank or even in the test series also okay so any questions you take this should be the approach last year what happened was i have seen few students who doing this they just open the test and they will close it open the test and they will close it okay that happened in the last year test series when i was going through the paper i understood few students have done it just if suppose if you are one of the student who have done it then i'm sure by doing that you would have gained zero knowledge you would have gained nothing from it just seeing the question and solution you will get nothing 
they will get nothing that is why test series is very important because you won't able to see the solution directly you have to sit for that one hour or one and a half hours or three hours with the with the questions which is given to you and you have to struggle with the questions okay so the important point important word which is going to help you in developing problem solving skill internally is struggle you need to struggle with each and every good questions okay that is the only thing will develop you okay i hope uh, i have conveyed my point very clearly i hope very clearly right second externally yes one point as i said internally you have to observe and you have to learn what is that externally a person to help you in getting those points in learning those points okay there should be a faculty a teacher who has to help you in uh, getting those points and if you you guys know if you are our course students you guys know that what our problems we used to solve what our concepts i used to explain i will try to explain i will try to uh, go through the problem such a way that it helps how you can solve if there was any other problems if they ask which is going to be related to this problem that is how our approach used to be and that is how it it has been okay for the past uh, for the past good number of years okay uh, if you consider my starting stage of my career from 2017 okay or uh, if you just consider the entrance engineering academy then it is uh, end of 2019 okay whatever from my starting stage of the career i am trying to make sure that i am when i am explaining the concept itself i will try to make sure to connect it with the problems and when i am explaining the problems i will try to expand that one problem with other problem that is uh, to answer number of problems with a single problem this is what externally okay now externally in the sense by taking a question okay by by explaining that question to you guys that is from a teacher point of view i'm saying and of, by understanding the question fully by making the students to understand the question fully and by explaining you what are all the possible changes which we can do in that question okay and what are all the possible ways they can ask nat mcq msq the same question if they ask in nat the same question if they ask in mcq the same question is asked in uh, msq what are all the different possibilities from a single question okay so that is what i as a teacher uh, was doing okay when it comes to problem solving and similarly that is what i'm going to do in our further courses also so this is externally okay and when it comes to externally developing the problem solving skills it's a uh, it's an important one why i am saying it's an important one because as i said external motivation is not completely uh, is going to be decide uh, decide how motivated you are but external motivation will help you to develop the internal motivation similarly externally if you could get these things that will help you in developing the internal problem solving skill which you can learn from each and every question which you are going to solve i hope you got it so both this things are important so when it comes to problem solving skills both the teacher and students need to do their work okay need to do their work properly to develop it okay so uh, i hope you got it what is basically what is the core mistake which you guys are doing okay if suppose if you fall under this category okay right then now finally i will just uh, whatever i wanted to convey i have done it so i will just give a final uh, point and then i will conclude this video okay so the final point regarding uh, the the problem solving thing was the the issue which our student faced last year the same regarding this problem solving so we are implementing that in our course so we are planning to conduct a separate live lectures okay separate live lectures which is going to contain only problems okay a good questions good quality questions they are not going to be a repetitive questions good quality questions those good quality questions will be solved from my side and as i said already each and every questions will be explained elaborately and each and every questions uh, i will explain you the solution but not only the solution i will try to explain such a way that uh, the same questions in a detailed manner okay I, i was explaining to you right from the beginning of the video what all the things you can get from the question what all the changes which can be made in the question in that way we will be understanding it and uh, we are collecting 
we are uh, making sure that the questions which we are collecting was of a higher quality and also to make sure you can learn many things from that question okay one one single question you can get from one single question you will be able to answer some 5 out of 10 uh, small M mcqs or 5 out of 5 out of 10 small nat so that is what our aim is okay so that is what we are planning for the live lectures okay live lectures which we are going to which are going to offer along with the pre recorded classes okay so pre recorded classes will contain videos that is concepts plus problems okay in pre recorded classes that is pre recorded videos itself it will have number of problems you, would, you won't believe me but there are number of problems i have solved in in pre recorded classes itself and that also in each and every problem i will try to explain that is if the problem is good if the problem is straight forward then of course i will directly give you the question and then i will explain you the solution etc but if the problem is good and if you can learn many thing from the problem then i will take some uh, take some time and i will explain to you so in pre recorded itself have then number of problems except few few areas for example material science okay there is not much of a problems to be done so those are the areas where um i won't do many problems but uh, the main main core area theory of machines strength of materials engineering mechanics thermodynamics fluid mechanics okay that uh, the area where the problems uh, the the difficult the different problems the involvement of different problems are there there i would have concentrated more in pre recorded classes itself okay coming to problems plus concepts and specially this live lectures again will happen where i will do only questions only problems and solutions and the solutions will be explained in a detailed way such that you will be able to develop your problem solving skills okay so that is about our uh, course so if you are interested to join in our course you can uh, register uh, about our website and all the details okay all details about the course etc was there in the description even our whatsapp number is also there if there was any query you can uh, contact us okay so either if you are registering for the course or you are not registering for the course you are preparing with any other sub, any other video courses or any other uh, uh, coaching institute whatever but the important point is to develop your problem solving skill external problem solving skill as, as i said that it depends on the teacher but internal problem solving skills is in your hand okay it is completely in your hand so it is it is in your hand it is in your court so you have to make sure that how you develop it better okay so i have given you an idea how can you do okay so that's it thank you